parties and stuff, they're wrapped up all tight. They're packaged. They got a Prada purse and they've got diamond ears. Welcome to episode 4.5 of What the Bitcoin. Previously on What the Bitcoin. Let me tell you, I'm yes, Mary. No, I. Mary. Okay. I don't do online banking. Okay. It's just as problematic as being Mary. 4.5. Okay, I see. But uh, Morgan Stanley. Yes, ma'am. They're thieves. Okay, so. Because it's Morgan Stanley, I should have more of a red flag because they're corrupt. Because like Enron, Morgan Stanley puts out a nice surface picture. They do a lot of good PR. But if you'll go back 20 years ago, yeah. Morgan Stanley, Dean Witter, which has been reorganized to Morgan Stanley. The 10 year mm -hmm. bubble is coming into Lou here. With how they were managing people's stocks in their retirement funds. And they were making decisions or sales that were not just um, a random thought. My father lost money. Because Morgan of Morgan Stanley. Stanley. Visor that was managing his portfolio. I don't know. It's who no, was yeah, doing But either trade. way, it was it would happen to your father and you've heard of other people being screwed. So you've got to be careful. Yeah. You can have a great PR, look great on TV, everybody's in suits and up. And, and wrapped up tight, and you think that, well, if they're for it, yeah. it is gonna be one of those persons that looks like a banker. And so that comes back to my base yeah. thing, just because I'm being told something, yeah. doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. Do I, do I look like I could sell Bitcoin? Do I look like somebody would walk up selling, if I was in a suit, maybe my tattoo wasn't exposed Actually, or? You look kind of techy. Okay, so I fall into the computer geek, but I'm not 40 or 50, so. You kind of look techy, and some of the young techy guys, sometimes they have really good ideas. I mean, let's talk about Steve Jobs. Really good ideas that were contrary to the normal market. In yeah. the beginning, they didn't, they weren't wrapped up all tight. No, no. You, what do you mean by not wrapped up all, in terms of what they were wearing, or, or fast and loose was their attitude, or? You know, like these kids that go to those, um, these parties and stuff, they're wrapped up all tight. They're packaged. They got a Prada purse, and they've got diamond earrings. The AirPods and, from and, Apple, the and Starbucks. Probably, and, but still, they haven't been paying their electric bills. Well, who pays their, their electric? Well, well, they're, they're, you know, when it gets real bad, they go hunt up mom and dad to bail them out. Oh. I mean, so they're the package. They're wrapped up Do you tight, think, do you, you think packaged people own Bitcoin? I think they're very smart people that own Bitcoin and they have been selling a package. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. That was good. They yeah. They've been selling a package. It looks pretty. Yeah, it yeah. Sounds Pretty, yeah. But when you open it up, it might be an overdue notice for your electric. I gotta say, you pulled that together very beautifully, the analogy. That was great, you know? I'm not young. No, I, and, version seven. What and, version is Mary Smith on? What? How many versions of Mary Smith have there uh, been in uh, life? Let me tell you, I was an EMT at 18. I had taken the course the day I turned 18, I became an EMT. And that was your tenure for your career? That's, and I was 18, a woman, and an EMT in 1977. Do you know how many woman, women EMS people there were in 1977? I don't. So there, I was the second one hired at a big metropolitan agency. I made $10,000 a year, which was big money in 1977, and especially for a teenager. No, that's, wow. So, what did you, did you buy anything? I was out in my own apartment. Yes, ma'am. I owned my own car, and I fought for every inch of my job. Yeah, and dollar. I bet you had a tight balance sheet. When I left home, the goal was to get $100 emergency money. Yeah. And once you saved up $100 emergency money, then you worked on $200. Yep. And you didn't touch that unless it no, was a dire no, emergency. No, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> and people used to make fun of me because I was so frugal. If I could buy something for 31 cents less than another thing, that's what I bought. As yeah. As long as it was equal value. 
and my sisters made fun of me for years and years. But I just talked to my sister recently and she said, she said, don't, don't put yourself down. You're the one that has money and savings. Yeah. Because every inch of the way, you made the best you could and you put money away as much as you could. Yeah. What would you tell somebody that was just born what Bitcoin is? Not just a scam. Try to paint it deeper than that, you know? Um, to do the research and okay. don't get caught. I'm going to say with your pants down. Yeah. Yeah, don't, or your shirt off. Yeah, don't, don't lose money when you're trying to save it. Make sure that those people know how hard you work for every cent that you've invested okay. and that they respect that. So I have some money invested in some places, yeah. stocks, that aren't, but I have a whole lot more money yeah. in secure investments with guaranteed 4% interest. What do you, like ETFs or mutual funds or? Uh, they are cash accounts. Okay, oh wow, wow. Balance yeah, you're hedged. Risk. You're hedged. Do you manage your own portfolio? How often do you rebalance that? Like every year. Every year? Uh, at the same time every year? In January. In January? Okay, before tax season then? Well, um, after I've finished what all the taxes yeah, are yeah. going to be I for see. the previous year. Yeah. Then I look at it and say, the thing is, is to have something that is not an everyday brand. Yeah. Like Microsoft. At one point, my father had bought Microsoft, and it was, at the time, I think about 50 some dollars. And in eight months, it went down to $10 or $15. Yeah. And he looks at his stock prices yeah. every day. Yeah. But you can't do that, because what was his plan when he bought it to hold it long term, right? right. Yeah. I only look at my stocks once a year. Better that way. <laughs> and my things are to where um, if stocks are down, my cash holds yeah. its interest value. What's when your like, uh, up, do you have a routine when you rebalance your portfolio? How many years in a row have you rebalanced your portfolio in January, you think? Um, about eight years. About eight years, wow. Have you gotten faster at the process or slower because you've learned more? The balancing more? actually has happened on its own. Wow, oh, because of the... Because the cash is always earning interest. So yeah. it has increased. You're hedged well. In fact, a bank person with Morgan Stanley wanted me to do something differently. What he wanted, and this is what you learn when you get older, what he wanted, he wanted that little bit of percentage that he got for shuffling my money around. And it only benefits him. Well, Mary, um, one more uh, question about Bitcoin, just because that's what we're really talking about today. Um, do you think that after speaking today that you'll go home and research Bitcoin a little bit? No. Have done you ever it, researched Bitcoin? It, when? When did you? When? When? It's uh, in the How news many years feeds, ago? And then yeah. I go to better, but that's the news. It's been 10 years ago, and I'm still not. Do you think you'll relook at Bitcoin when it's at a million dollars a coin? Because it's too good. What if it crushes the United States dollar one day? Will you look I, at it then? Want, the things that I have are still going to hold value. If you had a cash account. I don't. It's not. Okay. If it, would, if it was going to happen, it would have already Okay. So if Bitcoin was going to take over like people are thinking it, it would have already happened, right? So the slow adoption hype cycle of this new it's security, it's Stanley over. Scam. So you think now that Morgan Stanley came in, we might be close to the end. It's reduced the, the value already. Okay. If it happens, it's because there's um, money changing government okay yeah they're just using it as a and way to i don't trust them yeah, either no. so i gotta say mary after speaking with you today i don't know where i stand on bitcoin before our conversation today i was starting to be a little bit less scared but after this conversation today i'm absolutely terrified I, i'm not I'm, I'm really not kidding especially when you mentioned that you've seen it before you look at enron okay you look at enron when you start looking at enron you're gonna go Oh, that's version three and we're on version five. I'm gonna say on Bitcoin and anything else, beware, be careful, do your research and don't put out any money more than you can afford to lose.
That was episode 4.5. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Be sure to subscribe, watch the next video here, comment or whatever down below, and I look forward to entertaining you guys tomorrow with episode 5.